Hello everyone, my name is Anton, and today I'm going to be making a video on background images in Clone Hero. Um, to me, this has been kind of like a problem that um, has been around for quite a while now, um, which I found with a lot of charts, and um, you're probably also wondering why is it so dark in your room right now, and I will show you why in just a second. Um, however, um, yeah, so background images are a problem, and if you're not sure what I'm talking about, um, you will soon see why. So I picked two charts in particular um, that we're going to be looking at today, um, which I've got listed down here, um, which we're going to be taking a look at, and I will explain why I think they are bad backgrounds. Now, this is nothing against the people who created these or charted them. Um, you know, I have respect for both charters here. Um, it's just the background images are bad. <laughs> and th there's a very good reason for that. And you will see very shortly. Um, so this first one right here, we've got Messiah Complex, and basically everything from these uh, Vector, Haken, um, you know, like the, the Vector and Virus album by Haken off of Marathon Hero 2. Um, they, this one in, in particular, Virus, is particularly bad. And um, for this, I'm going to get close to the camera, um, and you'll soon see why um, th this background news is particularly bad. So uh, let's have a little look. As you can see, my face is nearly melting off because of how yellow it is right now. Um, so that's part of the reason why I think this is a bad background image, because it's so bright. If you're playing in the dark, it's just going to melt your eyes. It's going to make it really hard to play. Um, and this is kind of what I'm talking about, like bad background images. This one in particular is too bright. Um, with a little bit of blur, or like even this, uh, like on the pause screen, this is so much more lookable. Like, you know, look at the difference here. Uh, let me just get back into the song. Look at the difference. That is how it is normally. If we pause, it's instantly a lot better. Um, so that's the first thing. And as you can see, it's a lot darker than it would be on the pause screen. Um, but that's, you know, part of the trick. Um, so yeah, that's the first one that I think is just an all-around bad background image. Um, once again, no... No, um, you know, offense to the charters or anything. And the other one um, is this one. And I, this isn't a particularly, you know, um, this one isn't one that I'm, you know, picking um, for being the worst. Um, but, like, this one is just an example. Okay, this one's just an example. That first one I thought was genuinely really bad, but this one is just an example. Um, so it's Galaxy Mechanics um, by the Fractured Dimension from Carpenter Hero 3. So take a look at this one. Look how detailed that is. That is, it's almost like an optical illusion. Like when you're looking at the highway, looking at the notes, the amount of detail that is in this image is just, it's kind of hard to look at. You know, you'll be blinking a lot, you'll be trying to focus, it'll mess with your eyes. So this is another example of a song which... I find has a bad background image. Again, nothing against the charter. Um, I like Aizen. Um, he's a cool guy. Um, but yeah, those are just an example of some bad background images. And um, before we actually move on to this next section, um, I just want to say that a while ago, when I think it was Antihero 2 came out, um, <laughs> people got really mad at me. People got very mad at me for deleting all the album, uh, not the album art, the uh, the background images because of storage space. I I was limited on storage space. I had one hard drive for everything. Um, so yeah, people were, got really mad at me. Um, the the settlers creators more than anything. They got mad because I deleted all of their uh, background images. Uh, one of them's not in the community anymore, so that's good. Um, and then the other one, I yeah, I still haven't talked to to this day. Um, but yeah, I think now the community will be more accepting of that. Um, so yeah, um, I hope they feel silly, the ones who attacked me then. Uh, anyway, um, let's, let's move on with the, uh, actual tutorial side of things. So, um, for this, all you're going to need is a web browser. It's very easy to make a good background image. Um, so for this, I'm going to be using this album in particular, which is, uh, Polaris slash Arai by Tesseract. I thought this is a good album to pick um, because as you can see, not only is it a bright background, but it is quite detailed as well. 
Um, so I thought this is probably the perfect album artwork to use. Now, first of all, when making an album artwork, um, here's what I recommend you do. So on Google, you get, of course, the images. Um, and there's this little box here called Tools. Um, so you want to click on Tools and then go on to Size and Large. Doing this will make sure that you find the highest possible quality uh, image you can. So, for example, this one, you can see the resolution here, 1425 by 1425. Um, because if you just pick the first one that comes up in Google, it, I can almost guarantee it's going to be a lot smaller and you're going to lose a lot of quality on the image. Not that that is the biggest deal, but ideally you will still want to find the highest quality one you can. Um, and then of course you just want to right click and copy it. Now this is where um, things get a bit different because uh, right here, this is Photo P. Okay, Photo P is basically like Photoshop, but on your web browser, and it's completely free. Um, sounds too good to be true, but believe me, it, it's great. Um, you're not going to ever have a problem with this. Um, so yeah, of course, you, you know, you get adverts on the side and stuff. Um, if you've got ad blocks and stuff, it's it's going to shout at you and stuff. But like, it's fine. It works. Um, so of course, you're going to click New Project. And then at the top left here, you can see uh, you've got the uh, yeah, like the resolution here. So it'll default to whatever image you last copied. But however, we're going to change that to 500 by 500 pixels. Um, I'm not sure about DPI. There's probably some things you can do to optimize that. Pixels per inch, which is like the quality, how many pixels there are in every inch. But I just kind of leave it as default. It's not a big deal. Um, and then that's that's our base canvas. And then I also want to make another one, which is 1920 uh, by 1080. This is full HD resolution. Um, this is what most people use for backgrounds. But um, the, the 500 by 500 one is only really for um, album artwork, which is what you would see in uh, Clone Hero itself on the right hand side. Um, so all you need to do is just simply paste it in. Um, and then you can use this little... Um, tool on the top left, this little one with the little mouse cursor, um, to resize it and drag it. Now it will automatically clip to the corners, so it will kind of, you know, snap to the corners and stuff. Um, and yeah, just resize it. Make sure it's the perfect, um, like size, like this, you know, um, perfect size, five hundred by five hundred, sorted. That's it. Um, and then. Now we want to move on to the background image, which is right here. So again, you paste that in. Now, of course, as you can see, it's not fully, um, like, it's not fully there. So there's a number of things you can do here, and you use Control and minus to zoom out, and Control and plus to zoom in. Um, I'm going to try and explain Photoshop things when I can. Um, so what I personally would do here is, um, so think about it this way: we're going to be adding a blur to this image, so. If we blur it, you're not going to be able to read the, the letters. So what I tend to do is try and avoid the letters. So what I think would make a really good background is this top half here without the letters. Just this would be great. So what I tend to do is uh, highlight that with the highlight tool. Control and X to cut. And then you click off of the, uh, the, direct, uh, the, uh, the selection box. Delete that layer. And then paste it in and then simply just like drag it and make it bigger you know like that again you don't hold any any buttons or keys or anything you just make sure that it you know it, it fits nicely like that um, and of course you can you know crop it better and make sure that it's all centered and stuff um, but yeah this is this is how I would do it just make it kind of fit the screen sort of it's not like the worst thing i probably could have done a bit better um in fact you know what i'm going to do it better the heck why not let's just do it better so we're going to copy that uh whoops what am i doing i'm, I'm messing this up we're going to copy the original because the other one's 500 by 500 now um so yeah we're going to take this whole image and i'm just going to stretch it because um, that's the thing, if you crop it, it's not going to um, center a line properly. There you go. So that's officially the center, like that. 
Um, and what you can, do, of course, do then, you can select all that, click out of that, and delete that, and paste in. Cool. So yeah, that, that that's just a long way around of doing it. Anyway, so yeah, we've got what our background image is going to be like. Um, so a thing to remember, um, the highway is going to be around here in the center, the center and the bottom middle. So if there's anything there, it's not going to get seen unless for some reason you play with a highway that's like over on the left or on the right or if you're playing multiplayer or something it's not going to matter um so keep that in mind um you you know there's no rules or anything you could even flip it upside down and have it like that as well coming out of the bottom there's there's really no right or wrong just mess around with it have fun um but here's the important bit you want to go into filter make sure layer one is selected by the way filter blur Gaussian blur click that and I usually just use the default 7.2 pixels however if it is particularly even more detailed like I know let's say it's like alien core um, like you know rings of Saturn Gidim for example like if it's this sort of level of detail you know it's like ridiculous which like tons of little stuff everywhere do a higher blur um but if it's just like a standard one just use the regular 7.2 that's fine uh and then click ok and that would be the detail side of it sorted because remember these are supposed to be background images they're not supposed to be foreground you're not supposed to be looking at them background it's fine being a bit blurry i i recommend it because then you're not going to be going Ugh, it's too detailed because it's it's more flat, it's more blurred, it's a lot better. Um, and then the next thing we can do is go into Image, Adjustments, Exposure. When the layer is selected, that's why you make sure it's selected. Uh, and then you'll get this as well. So you get Exposure, Offset, Gamma Correction. You literally just go into Exposure and just type in minus two. And that's it. And that is the brightness issue solved exposure to minus two if it's particularly bright minus three like it's if it's really really bright like a the sun shining into your face minus three um you shouldn't need any more than that but minus two is a default um click okay and there you go that that would be your background image for example it's again it's up to you you can play around with it you don't need to you know do it like this um play around with it but just make it look more presentable. So as you can see here, I'm moving my face close to the screen. No problem at all. You know, it's it's not bright. It's not going to cause my eyes to melt. Um, it's perfectly fine um, compared to you know like the the ones in Clone Hero. Um, so yeah, how you do it then is you literally just go into File, Export as PNG or JPG. It really doesn't matter. Um, I usually just use PNG. I'm a PNG fan myself. Um, shout out to all of my fellow PNG fans out there. Um, and then, yeah, just save. You click save, and then it'll it'll give you like one of these ad blocker messages, like saying, "Oh, don't use ad blocker, or whatever." But doesn't matter. Um, and then I'm just gonna save it as background. Uh, in this folder we're going to use messiah complex why not background um and then you can of course delete the other one it, it's probably like blasphemy what i'm doing right here putting a tesseract background in a, in a haken thing but this is just an example i'm not gonna i'm not gonna actually keep that um it's just for the tutorial um but yeah um so that's our background and again you, you do the exact same with this but just call this album instead um, so let's have a look at Messiah Complex again, and let's see if my eyes melt out my face. So here we go. Going to go back to the Clone Hero scene here, and here we go. So you see, it's brighter, but it's still a lot better than what it was before, right? My eyes aren't melting. It's it's fine to look at. You know, it works. Um, so yeah, that's an example of how I create backgrounds for Clone Hero. Um, once again, there's no offense intended to any of the charters who, um, you know, added these bright backgrounds and, you know, in, in the first place, but it's just, 
you got to think about the players, you know. A lot of players will be playing in dark rooms like myself, and it'll hurt your eyes um, if, if you're looking at bright backgrounds like that, or even highly detailed backgrounds for that matter. Um, but yeah, hopefully that has been helpful. Um, if it was, um, please subscribe and all that. Um, I've got a couple of settlers coming up. I've got the next Gen Hero collection pack coming up. And I've also got my own chart request set list called Zan Charted coming up. Um, so keep an eye out for those. And um, yeah, I hope you use these background ideas yourself. Um, I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming along. I'll see you all later. And uh, yeah, goodbye.